Hey Scorpio. Okay, so we are doing that your um what do they see in you? Okay, this is an original spread by Alana Spreads, yours truly. Um, so the first card is going to be your personality. What does this person see in your personality? This could be someone that you're dating, someone you have your eyes on, someone you've been with for a while, someone you recently broke up with. Anyone that comes to mind when you think about what do they see in me, right? Um, this is also be this could too be if you're cross watching. This could be the energy could be reversed as well. So okay, so the first card is um, your personality. The second card is what makes you attractive to them, like what attracts them to you okay um the third card is going to be the challenge like what do they see as a challenge and in, in connecting with you or what do they see as a shortcoming as far as you know a flaw or something and then the last card is what do they see in you overall okay scorpio so let's see Okay, Scorpio. So what, what do they think of your personality? Okay, so they think that you're loyal, first of all, um, because we have the Ten of uh, Swords in reverse. This person feels like you're loyal, like like you're not someone that will put, that will betray them or, you know, or you're not someone who would stab them in the back or you. this could also be someone who they feel like you're someone who gets over uh, shit like that very quickly. Um, you're able to move on from betrayal and hurt and pain. Um, but I feel this is more about loyalty, okay? They feel like you're very loyal. This to, this too could be they feel like you're coming out of a they, they're, you're coming out of a space where you were you know, feeling backstabbed or feeling betrayed. They feel like you're getting over something. You're getting over a situation. You're, you know, you're healing. Um, and then we have the two of, um, we have the two of wands in reverse. So yeah, I feel like they feel like as far as, a, as your personality goes, like, you're someone who chooses to heal. You're someone who chooses not to hold a grudge. Like, you're, you're, you don't hold grudges. Okay, like, you know, like, even when someone hurts you, you know how to, like, get over something. Like, you know how to get over heartache and pain. Or this is how you're appearing to them. Okay, this is what they think of your personality. Someone who doesn't really hold a grudge. Someone who knows how to, you know, to make a choice to get over something. Or someone who's making a decision to get over something. This is how they see you at the current, current moment. Okay, Scorpio? So what, what makes you attractive to them? So I feel like this is, they feel like you're someone, because we have the the, uh, the um, Ten of Wands with the Justice card here, about what attracts you, what makes them, what makes you attractive to them. And I feel like what makes, because like I said, you're, you're someone who knows how to take responsibility for your actions. You know what I mean? You don't carry like, you don't carry guilt. You don't carry like, you know, you don't have like a self-defeating attitude. You know what I mean? Like you're not, you know, carrying around this attitude where you feel self-defeated or you feel guilty or you feel afraid or you feel overwhelmed. Like you know how to handle your shit right. Like, like you're, you know how to like, you know, like, you know, if you have a lot of shit going on, you know how to handle that shit well. This is what they see that they find this to be attractive. And you also know how to take, you know, also know how to take responsibility for your own actions and your own behavior. You know what I mean? If something is a burden on you, I feel like you know how to express that, or you take you take you you know how to handle. You're very responsible. This is the, what I'm seeing here. You know how to handle responsibility, and I feel like that's very sexy. And they also, I feel like with the justice card here as well, you could also have very like sharp features. Maybe you're like like have very um um 
or like be someone who's very fair, you know, someone who's very fair minded as well. Someone who, um, like I said, someone who's very responsible, take responsibility for your actions, very fair, very just. Someone who treats people fairly, someone who's kind to people. And someone who's like self-correcting. So they find this to be very sexy. You know what I mean? Responsibility. You handle it. Okay, so the challenge that they're seeing with you is the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. So I feel like what they're seeing as a challenge or a shortcoming is like, like there's no offers on the table. Like you're not making an offer. You know what I mean? Like I feel like... Scorpio, this person feels like you're walking away from an offer. Like maybe they offered you something and you, you haven't made a decision yet if you, want, if you want to take it or not. Like maybe there's offers on the table for you that they have offered you, but you're just kind of like, mm. you maybe you're like running from the offer. <laughs> okay. Or like maybe uh, they feel like what they offered you like wasn't enough and you like, you're kind of walking away. You're definitely walking away from an offer here and that's a challenge for them. Because, like, the hand is there. Like, this is someone walking the fuck away from an offer. Which, like, that's all. That's how else can you, inter how else can you, like, interpret that? Literally. So they feel like you walked away from an offer. Okay. Or they're walking away from an offer. Away from, you know, like, so this is a challenge that they're seeing here. Maybe... You're enjoying being single and they see it as a challenge, okay? So overall, they feel like you are the queen of swords in the, in the world. So they may feel like you, you're a little bit manipulative, okay? Like in the way you speak and the way you communicate because the queen of swords in reverse is someone who's very manipulative, someone who's not straightforward, or some, someone who's kind of conniving and sly, and the way they communicate, you know, because up, upright, she's just like straightforward in your face, cut, cut the bullshit. Let's just keep it 100. But in reverse, it's kind of like, she's not that way. She's kind of like passive aggressive, you know what I mean? But she can be very hurtful as well. And we have the world card here. So they, maybe they feel like, you're someone who fail, who fails to bring they you fail to bring things to a closure or to a head, okay? Or this could just mean like maybe they feel like you're very popular, you know? This could be someone who like, this could be like, they see you as like a speaker, I feel like. But someone who's kind of like, you know, um, a little undercutting, I feel like. And I feel like with this world card too, like this is a cycle coming to an end. So I kind of feel like maybe they want to cut something out. They want to, you know, they want to cut this out, they feel like. Or maybe they feel like you want to cut it out. It could go, you know, both ways. Okay, Scorpio, so I hope this helps you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.